Welcome to the Venom workout. This is for quads, hamstrings, and a bit of glutes. Now, for this workout, we're gonna use a kettlebell, although you can use dumbbells or a pair of dumbbells as well if you have that at home. We're gonna do four exercises. We're gonna go through goblet squats, sumo deadlift, RDL and a kettlebell swing as a nice little interlude between them. We're going to go through sequential sets, supersets, and then a triple set at the end. If you go onto your workout app, you'll find it all listed there. And you'll also find instructional videos as how to do the workout. Through the workout, I'm going to change the emphasis on uh, some of the exercises to show you how to target your glutes or to target your hamstrings better. Um, and you can edit on your own workout if you want to do this. So uh, hope you have warmed up already. Make sure you do warm up your knees and your legs before you start and let's get going. So what we're gonna do first is goblet squat, then go into sumo dead, then RDL, and then a kettlebell swing. 15 reps, three sets of each one. And we're gonna do sequential sets to start with. So grab your kettlebell, hold it in a goblet squat position, and we're gonna do 15. Now make sure you pause at the bottom Squeeze the glutes on the way up. We want to keep the back as straight as we possibly can on each rep. Now this isn't an aerobic style workout like say Lee or Ricardo. This is more focusing on squeezing and engaging the muscles to take the muscles to failure to grow. So we don't want to be smashing these out as fast as possible. I think that's about 15. We're doing 15, focusing on the squeeze, the engagement of the muscle to engage the muscle so that it grows. We're going to have adequate rest between sets and then we're going to go on to the next one. So we want to get failure through volume, not failure through cardio exhaustion. So take about a minute or so rest and then we're going to go again. Okay, so if you want to, you can pause your video until you rest, ready, ready to go. Okay, another 15. Slight pause at the bottom. Remember to focus, if you want to target your glutes more, squeeze the glutes at the top. Make sure you're engaging that muscle. Notice my form is very slow and controlled because you might not have a weight at home that is sufficiently heavy enough to force, force a failure from reps, say, from 10 or so reps. So you want to make sure you're focusing on the movement, slow it down slightly, that'll increase the tension on the muscle, force the muscle to work that little bit harder. So just another 15 reps, give it a minute or so rest. Generally, if I was in the gym, I'd be looking at a minute to two minutes gym, uh, gym rest, but for the purpose of the video, we'll probably have it a minute or so. Rest per second. It's important you get your breath back between sets if you are trying to build muscle. It's all very well to go as fast as you possibly can, build up a sweat and get your heart rate up, but if we're looking to build muscle, we want adequate rest so our muscles recover so they can get as many lifts, as many reps as we possibly can. Remember, we're trying to build muscle with these workouts, it's not an aerobic workout. So I want to engage the muscle properly on every single rep, focus on every single rep. Okay, if you need to, pause your video until you're ready. And then we're gonna go again for another 15. <laughs> Hold the goblet position. Remember, pause at the bottom, squeeze up. I'll try and like get my elbows, if I can, onto my knees. Then I know I've come down as low as I possibly can. Remember, slow and controlled, squeeze through the quads, squeeze the glutes when you come up. Remember, bodybuilding is about engaging the muscle, it's about fatiguing the muscle, taking it to failure, and as a result, the muscle grows to accommodate that. If you are just smashing out as fast as possible, it's highly likely taking the emphasis off the target muscle and on to others. I think that's about 15. Got distracted talking. Give another rest. So we've done three sets of 15 goblet squat. Feel free if you want to do 20 reps. 
absolutely fine. 20 is probably the maximum I'd probably go with a single set. I'm going to give it a minute's rest. And then what we're going to do is going to have kettlebell swings, 15 kettlebell swings in between that. So we do our three sets. We're going to have kettlebell swings. So we give ourselves about 30 seconds rest. And then we want to focus on the muscle. It's not aerobic, this workout. It's, uh, it's more about building the muscle. So kettlebell swings. I'm going to do it from the side. Lift up. Come through. Engage the hips. So you come back, push through the hips. So engaging the glutes. Use the swing. Now this is all about hitting the glutes. We don't want to be lifting with our back or shoulders. We're engaging the glutes properly. Pushing through. Squeezing with each rep. Just want to get about 15 or so. Don't remember how many that is. 12 T, 1 T, whatever. That feels like 15. Give it a little rest. So about 30 seconds rest. Take a drink. Make sure you hydrate properly in your workouts. Interestingly, here's a little geek point. Is that if you hydrate properly, increases saliva in your mouth, less chance of catching your RTIs, which is pretty relevant at the moment. Your RTI is an upper respiratory tract infection. So the more saliva you've got, the more defense you've got in your mouth. Especially when you're running outside in winter, you have less of that, so you're more likely to catch colds. So that's why we catch, part of the reason why we catch more colds in winter. Okay, a little bit of rest. We're gonna go into sumo deads now. So if you need to, pause your video until you're ready. Don't go until you're ready to lift. Don't lift until you're fully recovered and you want to engage the muscle properly. So sumo deadlift, stand slightly apart, come down, grab the dumbbell, and for this one, we're going to target the, the legs, the quads, rather than the glutes. So we're going to go straight up, squeeze. For this, a lot of people do sumo deadlifts wrong. They pull with their back. I and mean, if we want to be engaging with our legs, when we're thinking about pushing the floor away rather than lifting with the back. If you lift with the back, you do this. You come up, you don't engage the legs. Push the floor away and keep the back steady. More engagement for the legs, glutes, hamstrings, and this is what targets the muscle better. So for this one, we're just going to come straight up. For the next set, I'll show you how to target your glutes better with this exercise. And remember, you can do this with a dumbbell as well, if you want to. Okay, I think that's about 15. Don't really count. Okay, on the app it says 15, do 15, 20 reps. Remember, we're talking about muscle failure here taxing the muscle. There's not a magical number, 15, 20, 17. Not a magical number. Muscle growth comes from the last two or three reps before failure. So ideally you want to be going to failure on the third set. Now if you've got bands at home, you can put bands around the weights, around the kettlebells to increase the tension if you want to. Take a little rest, 30 seconds or so. Get your breath back. Make sure you are ready to lift. Remember this is not an aerobic work out, we're not trying to smash our heart into, into a heart attack, we're trying to engage the muscles to grow, you need to focus on that, rather than being sick on the floor. Although I have nearly been sick from some of my leg workouts. Okay, when you're ready, pause the video if you need to, if you're ready to go, let's go. Grab the number, oh, so from this side, we're gonna do from glutes, I'll show you it for glutes. So from here, take a look, now in a normal swimmer deadlift, we come up like this, to target the glutes, to keep the glutes on the emphasis, we lean slightly forward, so now you should see the glutes are the dominant muscle there in terms of where they activate. As soon as you pull back, you shift onto your back. If you lean forward, the glutes take most of the tension. So if you lean slightly forward and squeeze with the glutes coming up, you're going to emphasize it more. Bring your feet in, squeeze the glutes coming up, lower, squeeze. So we lean slightly over. So when we're coming up, the glutes are really engaging properly. And if you do have weak glutes, this is an excellent way of teaching your body how to target your glutes, especially on, on quads, on squats, sorry. Because a lot of people are quad dominant, especially women, and they find their glutes don't activate. This is an excellent way of teaching 
your glutes how to activate. Okay, it's about 15, I think. Give it a little rest. Okay, a little bit of hydration. I've got the absolute best branch chain amino acids in here. Because I'm a 100% bro. Perfectly fine to put squash in there if you want to. BCAs don't really do that much. Allegedly. Okay, take a 30 seconds or so. If you're not ready to go, pause. If you're ready to go, let's go. So we're going to just focus on normal this time. Come down, it's going to squeeze up. Come down, squeeze up. Don't go too fast with this exercise. People think they have to smash it out as fast as possible. And what I tend to do is take the focus off the back, goes onto the, so on, off the legs onto the back, start pulling with the shoulders. You want your upper body to be essentially dead weight on this and you're just pushing with your legs, pausing, squeezing. I'm going to target more on the quads, you can come in a little bit here, okay, but stand straight up. So when you come down, you're focusing more on the quads there. <clears throat> Couple more. <clears throat> Wish I hadn't put my legs in now, that really does hurt the quads properly. Oh. <sighs> okay, so that's three sets of that. Give yourself a rest. Go 30 seconds, and we're going to go back into our kettlebell swings. Remember, the kettlebell swings is about engaging the glutes properly, not about lifting with the back. Make sure you hold on to the kettlebell properly. Don't throw it into your mantelpiece or your loved one sitting on the sofa watching you train. Okay, we'll go from the side again for the kettlebell swings. So from here, okay, lift up to get it started. Come down, squeeze through the hips, push through the hips, keep the arms just like hooks. Oh. Somewhere there's a kettlebell teacher screaming at the TV saying that's not correct but my glutes are on fire so I know it's doing what I want it to do Okay, 15 of those, 30 seconds rest. And now we're gonna go into RDLs. Okay, and, okay, thanks Siri, thanks for coming into my watch when I didn't want you to. Okay, give it 30 seconds, and we're gonna do RDLs. So, RDLs normally you do with a dumbbell. It's much easier to do it with a dumbbell or a barbell, but we can use it on a kettlebell as well. And I'm going to show you the conventional way for the first set, do the glute way for the second set, and then if I'm still alive on the third set, uh, I don't know, something else. Okay. All right, let's go again. Okay, so RDLs. So we're going to stand up. So for RDLs, feet slightly apart. We're going to come from the side so you can see. What we want to do is pivot from the hips, keeping the shoulders back. We're going to come forward just before we touch the floor, pull up. Try and squeeze through the hamstrings, slight bend in the legs. And this is quite a light weight for me to do. So what I would do if I was doing this weight at home, I'd be squeezing my hamstrings properly to try and get up. Another five, I think. Okay. A little rest. Get our hydration in. Remember, hydration is very important. That's uh, currently a bit of water and BCAs. Six more weeks in lockdown. Probably be Stella and a ch vodka chaser. 30 seconds to our second set. 
So for that set, I just focused on targeting the hamstrings by conventional RDL. The second set, we're gonna target the glutes. And I'll show you for this. Um, what you'll need to do for this, this uh, part of the workout is focus on how my bottom is contracting. So sorry about that, you're gonna have to focus on that. We're gonna focus on contracting the glutes at the bottom of the movement to erect your body up. Dad joke. Okay, we go again. There we go. So same position. We're going to come down here. Now at the bottom, we're going to squeeze through the glutes to pull up. So it's a lot slower movement from here. Squeeze the glutes to pull up. Same as we did with the sumo deadlift. Keeping the shoulders slightly rounded forwards so that the glutes are the target of this movement. Now you might see I'm shaking a little bit. That's not because it's particularly heavy. It's because the glutes are really engaging and pulling me up. And you'll find that once you do the glutes, the hamstrings follow. <clears throat> if you wanted to emphasize hamstrings more, just angle your feet slightly outwards. Come down, squeeze the glutes, and you can push through, back through your, through your quads, back into the hamstrings. I can't remember how many that is now. 12T. That'll do. About 15 or so. Don't know how many that was. So that's the second set. Third set. Just going to go normal RDLs again. Okay. A little rest. So remember the purpose of this workout is not to smash your heart. It's not to get you lying on the floor in exhaustion afterwards is to properly engage the muscle to make the muscle grow. It's a markedly different workout with bodybuilding than it is with cardiovascular work. Both have their merits. I'm not built for that sort of exercise. I'm built for building muscle. Okay, and my heart is elevated. You can't see, but I'm in my zone at 78% now, so that's pretty high for me. Okay, let's go again. Go out the hours again. Normal position this time. Come forward, squeeze up. And what I'm doing here is I'm turning my feet slightly outwards like this, but not, not actually moving my feet. And because I'm doing that, I'm focusing on my inside and my adductors on my legs. So what I'm, trying, what I'm doing when I'm coming up, I'm doing this with my feet, but I'm not actually moving my feet. So I'm providing pressure through the inside of my adductors to engage through my adductors more. Adductors on the inside of the leg. If you're a female, most likely do have problems with having fat in that area and it can help with toning the legs you know, might do things like the adductor machine at the gym this is a way of targeting that by using proper weights <coughs> that's about 10 or something like that maybe i should have a little rep counter here <coughs> let's go in. Oy. 15, good. 30 seconds. And we'll go into kettlebell swings. So we do kettlebell swing after the completion of each section. Have a little rest for a minute. Do kettlebell swings in a second. Whew. Starting to work a little bit more. Okay. Right, give it to us 30 seconds. Once that's up, if you need more rest, take more rest. Otherwise, we'll go straight into the kettlebell swings. So from here, again, lift up. 15 again. Squeeze the glutes, push the glutes through at the top. rest so now we're going to go on to our supersets which is a more intense version so before we've just done sequential sets so sequential sets you do one set after another 
supersets who do exercises together. So this is actually, if we're going to be talking strict rules, it's actually going to be a triple set. A little bit of hydration, get yourself ready, make sure that you recover fully between sets. Remember this is not an aerobic workout, although we are working the heart, what we're trying to do is engage the muscle, take the muscle to failure, and to do that adequately you need to be able to talk in between sets, you don't want to be lying on the floor exhausted. So take the time you need, it's about 30 seconds between sets, because we've got potentially reduced weight if we're training at home, and we've got one or two kettlebells or whatever, so we go a little bit more intense. Normally if I was in the gym, I'd be doing heavier weight, and I would be doing probably uh, two minutes or so rest between sets. But uh, although technically I know I'm in the gym now, but this is a home workout. Okay, so we're gonna do goblet squat first again, and then we're gonna do goblet squat, sumo led, RDL, all in one set. So 15 of each, be quite intense. So I'm not talk that much. So let's get on with it. Okay, goblet squat first into 15, let's go. Now just because we're doing supersets, doesn't mean we do it any faster or with any less attention to detail. We still want to pause at the bottom, drive the glutes at the top. Let's get them out here. Let's give you 15, I think that's nine. So pause, push up, pause, push up. That's 10, 11. And we're gonna go straight into sumo deadlift. So from here, straight into it. So squeeze, you can do either version here. Do the glute one or the normal one. Remember to push through the floor. Don't pull with your back. Seven, eight. Keep going. Form always important for 15. And then we're going to go into RDLs. Remember, you can do any sort of RDL, doesn't matter which one you do. Focus on the muscle at hand. Keep your shoulders straight. Shoulders back, I should say. Again, count to 10, do a kettlebell swings. The reason I say count to 10 is because you do sumo deads, goblet squat and RDL all together. Your lower back might be getting a bit of a hammering, like mine is. So just give us our 10 seconds rest for a little bit of recovery. We're gonna go into kettlebell swings, 15 of those. Remember, squeeze through the glutes. Okay, and we're gonna have a minute's rest now. You gotta remember it's not an aerobic workout, although I am sweating, and my mind zone tells me I'm at 92%, which is quite unusual for me. Pretty much that's heart attack territory for a bodybuilder. So I'm just gonna give ourselves a minute's rest, allow ourselves to get our breath back, allow something called the creatine cycle to happen in the body. The body can replace creatine in the muscle to give us a little bit more of an explosive workout. If you keep going training without rest, you deplete that, deplete the amount of energy you can put into the workout, deplete the amount of reps you can get. We're not growing the muscle maximally. So rest between sets is really important. We've just done 60 reps with weight. 
that's a bit, that's quite a high amount. So let your body rest for a minute, it's about a minute or so, get your breath back so that when we go into the next set, we can really focus on the muscle and we're not focusing about stopping ourselves dying or puking on the floor. So let me let my heart rate come down a little bit. I was at 92 percent that is and coming down to about 85 now still want to keep ourselves with a reasonable level of heart rate so that we're burning more calories but again we don't want to be getting into the top flight aerobic zone which you would say with uh, Lee's or Raquel's type of workouts okay so we've got a rest okay so we're coming up to 80 percent so let's go again we have a goblet squat we've got again this giant set let's go 15 reps let's go remember focus on the muscle you're trying to work i just said that i forgot how many reps i'm doing let's say that's seven Might be more than that. Okay. And then we're going to go straight into sumo deads. Get yourself ready, compose yourself. Superset isn't, you need to have about one second rest between each set. A couple of breaths, go again. So, sumo deads. I'm just going to go conventional here. So, I think my glutes have taken enough hammering this week. Lost count again. Seven. Go to 15. My lower back starting to get a little bit pumped. So I'm just going to give myself five seconds rest. It's never a good thing to take yourself to an injury level. If you feel yourself getting a bit tight especially in the lower back good idea to just rest for a few minutes okay well a few seconds i should say a few minutes okay let's go do rdls so you're gonna go from here got my feet pointed outwards so a little bit more focus on the adductors. And rest. About five seconds. Give my lower back time to recuperate. And then we're going to cut our swings. Okay, when you're ready. Focus on pushing your hips forward, squeezing the glutes. Five more. Whoo. Ho ho. And then we're going to have one more giant set at the end with all of them together. So give yourself a little rest. Remember what I said about giving yourself adequate rest, we're focusing on muscle building. We also want to keep our heart rate up and make sure we're in the fat burning zone which doesn't actually exist uh, interesting i've got a video on the best fat burning exercise on my youtube go and subscribe there make me feel wanted hey okay, another 20 seconds so i want to make sure the last set is a good one 
We don't want to go into it knowing that we might not get the reps. We want to go into it making sure we're going to tax the muscle properly. So, you know, although I might seem a little bit less hardcore than other people, I prefer a little bit more rest and get more quality reps rather than trying to satisfy my ego or show off to people in the gym by showing how hardcore I am by sweating all over the equipment. Okay, just about ready to go to the next set. If you are needing a bit more rest, by all means pause the video. If you're ready to go, let's go. Okay, so goblet squat first. Let's go for 15. That's it, keep it going. Last set this. Focus on the quality of the reps. Don't focus on just getting reps because that's what people with no gains do. You want your muscles to grow, make sure you're focusing on training that muscle. If you need to, drop the weight to get the reps. Another three, I think. Okay. Take a few seconds. We're going to go straight into sumo deads. Okay, feet to the side. Get your breath back. When you're ready to go, let's go. It's perfectly fine to take a rest and then continue the reps. So if you can only get seven reps, you need a rest, get seven, count to 10, get the last eight. And you've got a few more reps. Let's say this another two. Okay. Believe it or not, I got an A at maths and GCSE. Then we're going into RDLs. I'm going to give myself five seconds rest or so because my lower back is starting to get pumped again. And I'll make sure that I'm getting the quality of reps, I'm not thinking about getting an injury. Okay. So now it's probably slightly longer than five seconds, probably more like 10. But it's not important, it's when you feel a bit ready to go, that's when you go. Okay, let's go, RDLs, let's go again. Squeeze my glutes on this one. <sighs> Evidently, my glutes haven't had enough of a hammering this week. Two more. <sighs> okay, last set of kettlebell swings coming up. I'm gonna give myself five seconds rest. Remember, it's about stressing the muscle, not about how hardcore you can be and injuring yourself in the process. So last set, I want to make sure it's a good one. Last set of kettlebell swings. Okay, let's go. Last five, come on. Oh. 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 And that is done. Slightly better than last time. Don't feel too sick. And I feel as though I've worked my hamstrings and glutes. Hope you enjoyed the workout. And I'll see you next time.